told him to put it on Do Not Disturb. Was it on Do Not Disturb? <laughs> yeah, I don't know Your why. phone's rubbish, mate. What is it, Google? It's Google weird. Pixel 3. Yeah. Hi everyone, George here, and I wanted to give you a very quick tour of Scape Nature. I've been here all day chatting with the customers and I just wanted to give you a quick show around before I go home. So you walk into the store, immediately greeted with a load of really cool DIY terrarium kits, Kokodamas, these are really beautiful, really low maintenance, beautiful hanging plants. Got a really cool bio bear here which I'll be setting up one of these very soon, so you can look forward to that. Moving over to this beautiful display here, lit with a Twinstar 600S bonsai, got some house plants. I'm actually gonna take this one home with me, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, mini terrarium, sort of Webber user style. Here we've got a full-on aquascape here, really stem heavy. Beautiful use of Rotala h there. look at it purling, stunning. And a carpet of Marsalea, got some Bacopa Compact and the Tropica Nano system there. Okay, moving over to some beautiful little cactuses. Say hello, Jill. Hello. Uh, we've got the Tropica self service plants in here, one to grow in the blister pots. We've got a beautiful low energy, low maintenance Danilay Nano Cube, all epiphyte plants, apart from the crypts there. Super low energy, just a six watt LED, small internal filter, and home to some cherry shrimp. Okay, here we have a, another bio bear here. These have been set up for about two weeks or so. And we've got some beautiful little kind of desk lamps, which double up as mini terrariums. And a couple of these. Some of their plants, some aquatic plants. Moving over to the kind of full aquatic section. Got the dry scaping area here, which we've been playing with a lot today. Got to say the shop has been absolutely rammed all day. It's been brilliant. Must have had literally hundreds of customers. And beautiful plants here for sale, Acaflora, Tropica. Really healthy, lit with the twin stars. And then my favourite scape in the shop, the Aquascaper 1200, lit with the Castles, Manzanita Wood, Frodo Stone, classic Epiphyte plants, Anubius Petite, Puka Philandra, Lamandel Mini Red, Ladwigula Palustris, Red in the background, Trident Fern, more Cryptocorines in the background. We've got two filters. We've got the Oise Biomaster with the Aquascaper glass pipe work set. And I'll just show you inside the cabinet. Two Oise Biomaster 600s, pressurized CO2 in line there. With the CO2 art, CO2 reg. Twin star sterilizer there to add extra oxygen and hopefully help prevent algae. And we have the Aquascaper 900 with the Twinstar 600S LED. Another Biomaster filter with the Aquascaper glass pipe work set. Twinstar and sterilizer. Maple leaf rock there. This is Redmore roots. Still a little bit of fungus on there, but that's going to die off as in time. Marcelaire, who's suited carpet. Bacopa Compact. Uh, in the centre, then we've got Rotala Vietnam, which is just had the room. And then we've got this crazy emerged section of Hydrocotyl Tripartita. And this is growing super fast because it's got unlimited access to CO2 in the air. It's nearer the light. It's going to be you know, growing so fast, taking in loads of nutrients and helping to prevent algae. You know, we've got some lovely Danios here. And lemon tetras. Okay, moving over to the first of the two Aquascaper 600s with the Twinstar 600E and all of the plants are mainly, well, mainly most of the plants are from 
Ray, the owner's son's tank, Dara, those are the beautiful, beautiful Andra here. And we've got some bulbitis, this is the emergent form, so it's gradually changing over to submersed. And then we've got some readily adapted submersed form, bulbitis, some anubias. And the, interestingly, the gravel here, just plain gravel with a base layer of tropical plant substrate. You've got some Cryptocorini Awendetii brown, Cryptocorini parva, some glow light tetras there. Looking really great. All the tanks got pressurized CO2. This is the Aqua Rio Neo diffuser. All the lighting's on for eight hours. And uh, I think the CO2 comes on two hours before the lights. So the CO2 can be at a good level as the lights come on and then the plants can start photosynthesizing straight away. Pressurized CO2 here and another Awise Biomaster Thermo. These are great because they've got this quick release pre-filter here, uh, which means you don't have to get inside the main unit. So maintenance is really simple. And then just behind that you can see the built-in heater there which obviously means we don't have to have the heater inside the aquarium which otherwise will look ugly so nice low maintenance sustainable layout here suitable for beginners and those without much time to maintain their tanks Show you some of the hardscape. We've got some sort of regular driftwood, bogwood, smaller pieces, add more roots, there's a dry scaping area, some white prints, talawa wood, and there's some more red more root here, uh, dragonstone, glimmer rock, mountain rock, uh, wood, fossilized wood. Frodo stone, got lots of Frodo stone here. Mini landscape rock or Syria on the bottom, maple leaf, black lava, and then a host of different gravels and soils as well. Okay, last but not least, we've got the Aquascaper 600 sands on Irigumi. So three stones there. This is all Frodo stone with a central kind of planting area of Helanthium tandem and that's surrounded by the Eleocaris sesicularis mini. This is all the Tropica 1-2 grow. This is planted into the Tropica soil. And then you might be able to just see the snail there in the centre of the screen. These are horned nearite snails, so these are great at helping to eat the algae off the rocks. Lighting, got the Twinstar 600S. These are all on for eight hours a day. And then we have the Twinstar steriliser, the M5 Aqua Rio Neo in tank diffuser. And then was a Biomaster filter again with the quick release pre filter here, and then the heater here, pressurized CO2 here, going into the tank diffuser there on the left. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. That just a real super quick tour of the epic skate nature at the end of the day of the grand opening. It's been super busy. Uh, we'll give you kind of a more detailed tour uh, in the future. Thanks to Ray for inviting me over Thanks and for being, being part it's of the whole journey. It's been, been epic. Fantastic. Yeah. I think we got together, what, six, eight months ago? About that, right? Yeah, last July, I think it was. And um, yeah, but you guys probably remember Ray from his rubbish phone that keeps ringing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna, oh, oh. Oh, mate. <laughs> Are you joking? Seriously? It doesn't like you, I've told you before. It's no good. That's no joke, guys. Google Pixel 3. Anyway, guys, you take care. Keep on skating. My phone is rubbish. Cheerio.